Okay, sorry about that. I didn't realize it already went live and I was making notes to make sure uh, I stayed on point. Uh, anyway, somebody was just messaging me and saying that, uh, you know, it's the end of the day, I guess. They just messaged me, assuming that's right now. Uh, I'm hungry. Uh, you know, I've been logging my calories. I'm only halfway to what it says my goal is. Like, what should I be doing? I feel like I need, like, some bread or something to get there. And uh, that's exactly right. Um, so just just a couple of things, I guess, is uh, number one, even if we are logging our food and we're reading the labels and we're really diligent about this stuff, the um, the foods itself on the labels can be incorrect. So like when they package that stuff, it comes off. I almost posted a video in here on how the food's made, uh, but it comes off this like giant like conveyor belt. It goes through. It's all automated. Like it can be anywhere between a 25 to 40 percent error even if you're reading the labels because it's just not as precise as you think uh you know as a business they try to have leakage issues so that they don't uh, lose money but still it can be really off when you're trying to think about calories and uh serving sizes um also when you eat food depending upon the bacteria in your stomach uh good bad how well your insides work basically and your exercise routine just because you're eating food doesn't mean you're absorbing it properly. Some of us absorb it, we turn it into muscle, we grow hair, we do a bunch of cool stuff. Others, it kind of goes to fat. Our body's like shutting off and turning it down, turning it away um, for a host of different reasons. Maybe past diet, maybe our current, where our body is, it hasn't changed, become this processing, uh, you know, using it up kind of machine. Uh, there's a lot of different reasons, but just again, the amount of errors here mean that just because you're logging calories and you're paying a lot of attention, and you're and you're being diligent, you still can't win. Um, so don't hold yourself to like these numbers like that because they can be just so far off uh, that that's why that's where the trouble is. So uh, two is the I'm hungry part. Uh, being hungry is really normal. Uh, it means you should eat. That's what it means. Uh, now and a little bit more deeper uh, into that is. What causes hunger is a hormone. Um, I didn't have a chance to Google it, uh, but I think it's ghrelin, G-R-E-H-L-I-N. Anybody wants to Google it while I'm talking. Um, this basically tells your body to produce hunger. Um, I need to eat again. What's interesting is that this hormone is associated with meal frequency. So folks who eat more often have more ghrelin, which makes them hungrier, which makes them eat more often. So if you have been eating more often, and now we've eliminated a lot of snacks and things like that, and you're, you know, well, because you've been eating often, you're hungry. You have a lot of ghrelin in your body. It's fine to eat. Just eat real food. Um, with that being said, these hormones can switch in a very, very, very limited amount of time. You'll have more of a hormone called leptin, L-E-P-T-I-N. That's the one you produce when you're asleep. That way you can sleep all night and not wake up in the middle of the night super hungry. Or perhaps when you wake up first thing, you're not real hungry. And it takes a little bit of time for you to develop an appetite is that leptin has been released. Well, if you reduce your meal frequency for a little bit, um, that ghrelin and leptin, a yin and a yang, are going to start to change and you won't be as hungry. But um, until then, if you're hungry, eat. Just make sure you eat real food. Um, that's really the end of this message is that we're not in a calorie counting thing. It's pointless because even if we do a great job, um, it could still just be so inaccurate between the label being wrong and the fact that you're not processing it at a, at a high rate. Uh, combine that with past eating behaviors where you're eating a lot and now you're not eating as often because you don't have things to snack on. Um, go eat. Uh, it'll start changing. Just make sure you're eating real food along the way. Um, and it doesn't have to be a snack. I'm kind of hungry right now. I just ate a steak. I think I'm going to eat some more chicken. Like, I'm hungry. Uh, eat, but it's real food, right? All right, y'all have any more questions, uh, post in the group. Uh, if it's a private one, you can message me. But for most questions... Uh, keep them in the group because everybody else is probably struggling with the same thing. And uh, just because one person asked it, I know 10 to 15 more thinking it. All right, y'all. Uh, see you tomorrow.